uh, let's not do that. Let's do that. No, let's not do that. Because you're never going to have an international appearance. Okay. So after 15 goals, let's take it down to 10. Okay. And if we... Say we reach the third round of the cup, I'll give you some money for that as well. I'm afraid it's going to be non-negotiable, this one. Awesome! So he's signed... Well, he hasn't signed it yet, but he's agreed, in principle, a new deal. Um, I want to have a look at Margate, actually. First of all, which Hurst was that? It was James Hurst. He's unhappy. James, I might have the solution to your problem. Join us. We can pay you next to no wages. Um, Bell Baggy. Mm, not the best. He used to be better. I think in Hurst is not the best either, but hey ho. Right. I'm not going to be forced to get a new midfielder at least, which is good news. That being said, I mean, isn't that great amount on offer, really? You got this guy here. Bachelor, young, young winger. He's got very good pace. Again, he just wants silly money. Can't afford your wages, pal. We're running a very tight ship here at Hatfield Town. Can't afford stupid money. Sorry and all that. You can't be asking for 200 quid a week when you're an 18-year-old non-league player. That's that's just not on. If you work out how much that is a year, that's quite a lot of money. We have a squad of, say, 20, 30 players. That is a lot of money. Right, we've got Enfield Town up next. Hopefully we can get a good result against them. It always says players aren't happy with my training, but that is because I put them through the the runner. Of, uh, yeah, you know, I put them through it quite a lot. Even though the workload overall is only at medium, once we turn pro, that's going to go probably this way, actually. I got them on fitness and I got the intensity to very high. I want to keep them match fit for as long as possible. Something that Steamage are doing quite well at the moment is Steamage's fitness levels are very, very high. So anyone who plays against them will tire out sort of 75, 80 minutes. But the Steamage players will still be going almost at full tilt. And it shows. We, we do really well at the end of matches. Just tweeting again, try and get some more people to join. If you're watching this and you're enjoying it, feel free to share the link. Twitch at dot TV slash Majefferies. Let as many people know as possible. Try and get as many people in the stream as possible. If I get enough people in, I might start doing some giveaways again. Uh, cause it's been a long time since I did a giveaway. Right, as we were. So we have another match coming up very, very soon. Away. Was it away? No, it's home. Against Enfield Town. and between now and then it's just a case of get the players in get them trained up ready ready and raring to go so this kid here Dolby this is the guy that I signed and then loaned out as you can see he's got really good stats as well he's not far behind Constantinou in terms of his stats uh, in terms of his performance one goal in seven games for them he scored 10 in 38 so that's nearly a, a goal every four games which actually for a young striker, that really isn't a bad return. 
Obviously, if he wants to play for us, we might have to ask him to up it a little bit. Uh, considering this season he's only scored a goal every seven games, which is not as good. I don't think we're going to interest Hurst. He's on £400 a week, for Christ's sake. So I don't really know why I'm actually doing this. Uh, let's do a team report. It is funny who you can find in the... Uh, yeah, he's nowhere near interested. In the loan list that you wouldn't otherwise be able to find. I've had to do some very, very in-depth scouting. To find the players that I did bring in. Uh, Andrew, for example. I think I went through three different scout lists before I eventually found him. And saw his stats and brought him in. So it's, it's always... At this level, it's always very, very difficult to find the next best thing. Um, especially because we haven't got the budget to compete with the teams at the top of the league. So we always have to go for second best. It's quite frustrating at times. But then when we do sign second best and our first choice goes to a team that we end up playing, if we then beat that team and they're in this, the, uh, the starting lineup, it does make you feel that little bit um, smug, I think it's probably the right phrase. Because you are basically telling that player that that's what they could have had had they decided to lower their demand slightly. But, what can you do? It's not for the want of trying that we bring these players in anyway. We do our best, it's just they're not interested. I mean, even Olesanya, he's our probably our best player this season. We brought him in on loan from Wimbledon, won the league, got promoted, tried to sign him on a free transfer and he didn't want to join us. It was only like two months into the season when no one else came in for him that he eventually conceded really and actually joined us. One for that, he wouldn't have. Right, so we've got some long load screens again. Which is very frustrating. It's what you get when you have a large database though. Uh, what was I going? Oh yeah, I was going to show you the uh, the newbies. So Andrew was one of the ones. See again, not the greatest stats in the world. I went by his star rating again, which is a mistake. Shouldn't really do that. But first touch is good. His crossing's pretty good. He's got good pace as well. Which is something that alerted me to him. A free transfer from Luton. Two goals in 13 games. So I mean, I didn't sign him for his goals. So there's no there's no need for for me to judge him by that. But um, it's nice that he chips in every now and then, I suppose. I'm going to guess that they've got, yeah, they've got no one good for loaning. Again, I don't really know why I did that. Uh, so, oh, it's just under 18s. Now, I've got players playing for the under 23s. Not really interested in the under 18s. So I keep going to Steamage um, for trying to get players in on loan. But, I mean, Cambridge. Basically, I'm trying to be realistic. I said this before. I'm trying to be realistic and go for local teams. Because realistically speaking, you wouldn't... Like, a team in Newcastle wouldn't loan a player to a team in London in the non-league. Because there's no way, really, for them to get there. You know, you don't want to be spending loads of money at this level just by loaning players out. So I try and be realistic and go for relatively local teams. I mean, Ebbsfleet aren't that local to Hatfield, to be fair. Neither is Cambridge, really. But um, teams sort of within a reasonable drive. I think it's probably the, 
the best way of describing it. So Blackpool, Doncaster, no, not really. I'd say Northampton is probably the northern limit. Uh, the other thing, of course, is to go into the National League and see who they've got. Again, try and be relatively local. So Eastley, yeah, South Coast. Whitehawk, South Coast. Dagenham and Redbridge, nice trip down to London. Uh, Borehamwood, very local to Hatfield, in fact, just down the A1. Maidstone, eh, Kent's not too far away, I suppose. Um, Dulwich Hamlet must be relatively close because Steamage loan players out to them. <coughs> right. Olesanya has signed his new deal. New one year contract. That's always good news when you bring in your best player. And uh, you tie him down. Alright, Hibbs is ready to join us on trial. So we'll give him a run over. I doubt we'll be able to sign him unless it's on non-contract terms, of course. But as soon as he asks for a wage, that's it, we're screwed. Because we can't afford it. And we're very close to playing infield. Kick off his nigh. I must admit, this game is getting a bit slower with these load screens, but there is very little I can do about it, I'm afraid. Uh, I might start going through and trimming off some, some databases, but it's not really an ideal situation. So before we submit the team, I just do just want to have a look at this fella. You know, he wants a wage. We can't afford 400 quid a week. No team in this league can afford 400 quid a week. That's stupid money. I can put you on non-contract terms and that is it. I can't give you money. Stop asking for money. I'm going to lock that. And basically, if he doesn't accept this, then, yeah, he's not joining us. I can tell you that now. Oh, and that's submitted the team. Okay, well, I was going to play that team anyway. Although I didn't actually check the condition of Hughes. Uh... No, he's pretty good. A little bit less than the rest, obviously, because he is carrying that injury. But, apart from that, pretty damn good. And it's a home game as well, so we've got the fans on our side this time. Last game, I think their fans were one of the reasons why they got back into it. Um, because, as as with any team, if you're 2-0 down and they start coming back into the game more, the fans get on their side and um, it sort of provides them with that extra boost. Because we're the home team now, hopefully we don't concede early from this corner, which wasn't a very good one to concede, by the way. But if we can clear it, a little bit better than that. Although Constantino is chasing it. See, Alessandro is is on the halfway line. No wait, that wasn't Oles. Oh what? Yeah, well, no, it was Alessandro. I think he just dropped deep again. This is ball over the top. Yeah, a bit too much on it there. Either that or he needed to curl it towards the corner flag some more. Just so Constantino had some space to run into. There's another example. He, he hangs on the edge of the box. And then the two wingers hang up on the halfway line. There's Anderson doing his intercepting. Which is something that he's become very good at this season. He likes to sneak up behind players and intercept the ball. Although... Not many options for him, but he perhaps should have done better than just run into the defender like he did. It's no good winning it in a really good area if they're then going to give it away in a really bad area. It's not really how this works. Uh, 
Okay, that's not too bad. If they're going to hit it wide like that. Two shots, none on target. The thing that's worrying me is they've got more possession than us so far. Although that being said, we might have a chance here. Simpson's deflected cross goes behind for a corner. It will be Hughes who takes it again, so there's every chance that it's not going to go anywhere near where it should do. But it is on his stronger side. No, straight into the keeper. I wish that wouldn't happen. I think that's actually more the fault of the players in the box than it is Hughes. Because, yeah, he might put it a bit too close, but the keepers come out and claim that. No one's beating him to it. That's a good ball. Out to Andrew. Can use his pace here. Get away. Not a good ball there, though. do leave a bit of a space in between our midfield and striker. There was quite a lot of space for their guy to run into and that's hit the bar. Anderson hacks it away. Andrew is there though. And it is quite relaxed at this stage. Like He's got space. He's got space and he's got time. He's in no rush to necessarily do something with it. Simpson with the ball forward, Constantinou with the flick on, keeper caught it, although he could very easily have let that go. Get in the non-league and the stats, the way things work, I've seen keepers drop balls there before. It does happen, not so much in real life, but in game. Easy for the keeper to come and claim that one. Good to see the keeper in his proper kit again. Not wearing that boring one-tone grey that they make them wear when they, uh, there's a kit clash. Mm, Messer dawdling on it too much there. Good save trot. Too much dawdling in midfield. For some reason our players are just taking way too long on the ball. be a bit crisper and a bit sharper. Good clearance there by Hughes. Constantinou is chasing it. For some reason Alessani is just ignoring it. That's not really good. No excuse for that either. He should be running onto that. That's what he's there for. Again, Messer just taking his time clearing that. He doesn't have that much time. Especially when he's got a, a player closing him down and he's right on the edge of his own box. Not smart. No idea what Constantinou was trying there. Messer with the ball around the corner for Olesanya. It can make something happen here. Except he decides to kick it off the pitch. There's, there's a definite camera shyness starting to spring up again. They just don't like being on stream. That's a really poor ball by Hughes. I couldn't tell whether he, he underhit that towards Anderson or if he overhit that for Andrew. I just don't know. Andrew in possession here though. Through for Constantinou. Deflated shot. Corner. That's better. At least they get in a shot in. Hughes again with the corner. Front post clearance. Andrew will pick this up. Hughes is free out wide. There you go. Back into the middle. Intercepted. That was unlucky. That could that could very easily have fallen to um, Constantinou. It was a bit of a sharpshooter. He can finish it in tight circumstances like that. Dawdling on the ball again. And he's giving it away. And they've got the counter on. I don't know why Mess is playing the short free kicks. I certainly haven't told him to. He's good enough that he can shoot. Because he's one of only two players who scored a free kick for us. No wait, one of three players. Kerens has got one as well, but I think it was deflected. But um, Mess has scored a free kick before and Scott scored a free kick before. But I think Mess has scored like two or three and so Scott, thinking about it. But... You know, they should be shooting. Or at least 
putting the ball in the box, not doing a stupid little side foot pass to someone who's just going to give the ball away. I mean, what was our centre back going to do with that ball? So ridiculous. I haven't even told the centre back to stand with the taker, so why is he there? Disobeying orders. It's been a very poor first half for us, really. Oh, they're doing it as well. Okay, Hughes winning it. Poor pass. Really poor pass. Simpson, great interception. Do something good with it. Okay, Olasanya. Andrew is in space. He's gone to Constantinou. Hughes. Ball in behind, not enough on it for Andrew to chase it really. That should be Kevin's ball, yep. Well brought down as well. Hughes out for Andrew. Deflected behind for a corner. Not really happy with settling for corners there though. I think, I think we should be getting the ball into the box at least. Especially as this is probably going to be another wasted corner. It actually caused trouble that time. Olasanya to Hughes. Back into the centre. Again, too close to the keeper. Got to make that run to the front post though, Constantinou. Is it Constantinou or is it Constantinou? Right, is there a certain emphasis on a certain syllable? Anyway, free kick on the edge of the box, courtesy of our, our number nine. That's the other thing about being in the non-league, is I can't even refer to our players by their squad number, because depending on whether they're playing or not, squad numbers change. So whoever starts up front for us at the moment will wear the number nine. It's not a set-in-stone thing. That wasn't a terrible free kick, I've just seen better. That brings a very poor first half to a conclusion. I won't make any changes just yet, because we've played badly, but it hasn't cost us so far. So it remains to be seen how we do in this second half. Fingers crossed there's more crosses like that straight into our keeper's hands, though. Yeah, Paul Rooney's been quite error prone today. Mind you, when he gets given a ball on the edge of the box like he was from a free kick, I'm not really sure what he's meant to do with it. Good catch, Trot. See, our players don't hit free kicks like that. They always try to go over the wall. I've never seen a player on my team take a free kick round the wall like that. I don't know how you'd get them to do it like that either. Oh, I thought the referee bone for a foul then. I'm quite happy giving away. Sorry, I'm quite happy with them being offside. I'm not very happy when my players go offside. They shouldn't really be offside in our system. Come on, win the ball. Constantin has been poor. To be honest, so is Andrew. I don't like bringing off Alessania because he can suddenly change a game. It's normally because he hasn't been given the ball in the right areas that he's been ineffective. Right, our keeper's got the ball. Akinuli's thundering forward. Not the greatest kick in the world that by Trot, though. <clears throat> there was three against two if the keeper had got a decent connection there. Here's Olesanya into Hughes. He's trying the impossible ball again. I don't think I've got risky passes turned on. I'm sure I went f for less risky. Oh, come on, Messer. That's just someone who's not concentrating. Not trying hard enough. Hughes just giving it away in a stupid area again. 
Yikes. And any better than the backside. Playing so poor. Why are we playing so poor? I'm going for overload. Oh, why did it cut off there? We had a counter attack. Okay, get the ball. That's it. No. Get the ball again. That's it. Tackle him. Good tackle, Messer. Down the line. Good ball. Ola Sanya running onto it. Akinuli stay on side. Uh, he couldn't pass it to him because he kept running offside. Gas is really poor. Alright, Akinuli now. With the shot. Deflected. Keeper saved. Corner. Crossed in by Meron. Sorry, Menon. I can't even say my own players' names right now. God damn it. It's better corner, just still not perfect. I'm actually going to have a look. Because I'm looking at my players' condition. And Rooney is just not on it today. So I'm going to bring him off. And I'm going to switch to this formation here with the overload. Uh, Hughes and Messer as they are. Scott through the middle. Hopefully, uh, obviously Anderson at right back as well, and Simpson moves back to left back. Hopefully, we can maybe grab a late goal. Oh, Simpson, that is so poor. How lucky that their keeper can't keep it in play. But that's such a poor cross. It's just not good enough. That wasn't a great corner either by Menon. Now because we've got a different formation, different um, set piece tactics. We've only got one player back. What a tackle by Simpson. Made up for his mistake at least. Good block. Just not really falling to anyone in midfield. Come on, there's three in midfield and not one of them was closing him down there. What the actual hell? I have got closing down on, haven't I? Oh, let's go for a higher tempo. Yeah, deep, fine. Closing down much more. Pass direction. More direct. Screw it, take more risks as well. Right, Scott on the ball. Round the corner to Anderson. Crossed in first time, poor. Not good enough. Three minutes left. Kerrin's good interception again. He's very, very good at, at reading the play in those situations. Ball over the top to Meenan. Crossed into the centre. Keeper has kept that in play. Alright, tactics have only just kicked in in the 90th minute. That sucks. Simpson into the channel. Yeah, not bad idea. Channel is a good place to go. Just Akinuli not really alert to it. That's a very deep ball by Hughes. Akinuli does keep it in. Squares for Olesanya. Cross into the middle. Scott. Meenan. Yes. Get in. Darren Meenan. 91st minute goal. That is a very, very last minute goal. Yikes. Great play by Akinuli. Great play by Olesanya. I thought Scott had blown it. But then I didn't see Meenan there. And that's a very, very... Low driven, powerful shot. Very lucky. 
that they actually ended up in the back of the net. Right, uh, I imagine there's going to be some time added on for that, so we're going to go with Contain. Try and shut up shop and hold on to this one goal lead. Simpson, good interception. Plays it safe to Hughes, into Scott. I think Akinuli was offside there, was he? Yep. It's always Akinuli. Constantinou does get flagged from time to time, but Akinuli just lives in an offside position. Shot wide. Come on, ref. That's two minutes. My food's getting cold. Awesome. Nice 1 0 win. Okay. So here's what's going to happen here, guys. I am starving hungry, and there is a McDonald's waiting downstairs for me. No product placement. There's some food waiting downstairs for me. Um, so I'm going to end the stream here really quickly whilst I go eat. I might be back afterwards. If I'm not, then um, I will stream this again tomorrow. So thank you for everyone who has come out and watched this tonight. I will cut this up and put it on YouTube as you'd expect. And in fact, I probably will stream it tomorrow if I don't get back tonight. Just so that I can get the number of clips that I need for um, next week's episodes. So, once again guys, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you, if I don't see you later tonight, I will see you tomorrow.